Viruses can also stop a computer from booting. To scan for viruses, first select the drive you'd like to scan. Most likely you should scan your Windows installation drive. So check for the Windows installation where it says yes. Select that drive and then click OK. Next, BootMed will ask if you'd like to update your virus definitions. New viruses are created every day. So the best thing to do is update your virus definitions. However, to do this, you'll need a network connection. The easiest way to connect BootMed to the internet is to plug it into your router. So find a networking cable and plug your computer directly into your router. This is easier than configuring a wireless connection. Once you've got that done, click yes. You'll then be prompted that an update will begin in a separate window. Let me bring the window over. In this case, the virus definitions are up to date. So, now that they're up to date, the virus scanner has opened. It may take a little bit of time for the virus scanner to completely open and begin scanning for viruses. Just be patient. Now you'll notice that it is scanning. It has scanned a few of the files. Scanning may take quite some time. Virus scanning has now completed, so we can look at the results. The results window can be quite wide. There is no way to make the window smaller, so you'll simply have to move the window back and forth to see the results. Here we can see that the majority of the files that are infected with viruses are in my downloads folder. And over here you can see the status, which is the name of the virus that is infecting the file, and the action taken, which at this point is none. To remove the virus, right click and select delete this file. Do you really want to delete this file? Yes. Quarantining the file won't work. You're working in a live CD environment. The file will be moved to a quarantine folder that once your computer is shut down will disappear. Deleting the file, however, will, will remove it permanently. If you feel that the file is a system file or another important file, my advice is to first save it to a pen drive and then delete it. That way you can have a backup copy. To save it to a pen drive, first insert your pen drive. When you insert your pen drive, BootMed will automatically open it. Next, right click on the file that you would like to save, click Save As, and save it in the default folder, which is Ubuntu, which is also the desktop. You will also need to give it a name. Then next, click OK, and the file has been saved. It is now on your desktop. Here it is on my desktop. I will now drag it and drop it to my pen drive. And there we go. The file has been backed up. You can now feel free to delete this file. There is a backup has been made. It would also be a good idea then, if it, especially if it's a system file, to write down the path in which directory that file is in before you delete it. That way, if there's any problem, you can simply move the file back to where it was. You also may want to write down the name of the file since you may have changed it when you saved it to the desktop. So now I will delete this file. And that's it. Simply delete all of the files that have viruses in them. And when you're done, exit out of the virus program by clicking the X. And then go back to the BootMed menu and click Quit and Shut Down Computer. After this, remove the CD, restart your computer with the CD out of the CD-ROM, and see if Windows is now able to boot since the virus has been deleted.